Hello everyone, welcome back to the full online tutorial series on SketchUp from basic to advanced in detail. This is section B of the series which is all about managing units of measurement in SketchUp. In the first part of this section we learn how to set units in SketchUp to create accurate models. Now in this part which is second part we will explore many other measurement tools which can make the modeling work fast and accurate. So let's start with it. When you draw with the SketchUp 3D modeling tools you will find lots of ways to model precisely like you can check measurements and label dimensions and so on. I will be explaining you about few tools which majorly helps in creating a precise model. So the first one is how you specify the unit in measurement box. The box works differently depending on which tool you are using. When you draw an entity like a line or circle, the measurement box lets you specify the precise dimensions and units. For example, when you draw a line, you can see in the measurement box, it's asking about length. Same way, if you draw a circle, it first asks you about the sides of the circle and once you start making the circle, it will ask you about the radius of the circle. Another trick for precision is by using a unit other than set by default in your template as we learn in section A. For example, if we draw a circle again, and this time type the length with the units also with it, let's say millimeters. It will draw the circle of same length. But when you measure the length again, it will show you in the default unit of the template only, which is in this case feet inches. Another easy trick is to see an entity's measurement in the entity info panel. For example, if you want to know how long a line is, you need to know the area of a face or the volume of a solid. Simply select the entity and open the entity info panel from the default tray or from the menu bar. It displays a relevant measurement for the selected entity. For example, for a circle, it's showing all parameters like radius, segments and circumference. Now let's select the 3D box to get its volume. To do that, you have to select all surfaces and make it as a group by right clicking after selection and make group. Once the group is made and the box is selected, go back to the entity info and you will see that it displays the volume of the box automatically. Another important precision is marking measurements with dimensions. To get dimension tool, you first need to bring the large tool set. Go to view, toolbars and in the toolbar window dialog, check the box of large tool set and your toolbar will appear. Double click to set it at the corner or you can click and drag to place it anywhere else in the interface. Close the dialog. Now in the large tool set, you will find a dimension tool which has a symbol as shown. Click it. To start measuring any edge in your model, starting from one end to other. When you click at the second point, the dimension line shows up automatically with the length at the center. You can drag this line to any height or length in any directions. And the text in the dimension remains at the front only, no matter in what direction you rotate your model. Now with the select tool, select the line and right click to go to entity info. Or you can also go directly to default tray to find entity info panel in which there are many options to edit like you can change the color of the dimension line by clicking the color box and from the choose paint window select edit button and then in the edit material dialog pick any color you want. Click OK and you are done. You can further do more editing by changing the font type and size by clicking the change font button and in the font dialog, you can choose different font styles and sizes. Few more important tools to precise your model are tape measurement and protector tools. Tape measure tool helps in measuring distance. Protector tool helps in measuring angles and creating guides. In previous videos, I already told you how to use tape measure tool to measure any dimension but there is other thing you can do with tape measure tool is creating guides 
These guides can help you to create precise openings or other delicate details in your models. To get the guides, make sure you do not click on any endpoints or midpoints. Just click on the edges of any line, horizontal or vertical to get the guides. Provide suitable distances as you want in your model. For example, I want a small cut in my box at certain distance which I have located with my guide. Now using rectangle tool, I will mark that cut as shown. Now you will see another surface is created as my box is a group. So first I will select the box, right click and explode it to get all the surfaces. Now that surfaces have intersected with the mark I made and I have a separate surface in the box. With the help of push pull tool, I can push that surface inside to a certain distance or I can cut throughout the box. There are so many advanced applications of the above tools I have told you about. I have explained them in much depth and detail with suitable examples in further videos. Now same thing you can do with protector tool. Other than knowing the angle between two lines, you can also create guides with this tool. Just click at any point from where you want your guides to start. Set the reference line at any direction that will act as the zero angle from which you want your guides to be. You can either type the angle measure directly. For example, I am making guides at 15 degrees interval. Or you can drag the mouse to set a desired angle. So this is the end of section B. In next section, I will introduce you about drawing basics and concept like how to draw a line in 2D and 3D how to divide the line and faces and many more.